Come on in. Welcome to opening the door to diabetes. So welcome to Opening the Door to Diabetes. I'm Hugh Tilsley and uh, I'm a diabetologist and mainly treat uh, diabetes. The purpose of these videos associated with the Diabetes Reporting Service website is to act as an adjunct or a supplement to your diabetes education. What we're not able to do with this series is to take the place of your doctor or your uh, dietitian. Uh, you'll need some one-on-one -on -one with those people. But what we will be able to do is to be a source of review so that whenever you're uh, questioning something about diabetes, you can go back to one of these videos and have a look at it and hopefully your questions will be answered. The way we're going to structure this is through an interview and I'm very happy to welcome Stephen Morgan who is helping us by asking questions uh, on your behalf. Yeah, hi, I'm Stephen, and I have a whole bunch of questions about diabetes that I never really learned, and so hopefully as I learn some of these answers, so can you guys. Great. So, shoot away. What's your first question? Okay, so in a general sense, what is diabetes? Very simply put, diabetes is just too much sugar in your blood. And when there's too much glucose in your bloodstream, it causes you to have a number of symptoms. And those symptoms are drinking too much, peeing too much, losing weight having blurred vision. There are two major types of diabetes, uh, type 1 or juvenile onset diabetes. And in that diabetes, you've lost all of a hormone called insulin. And insulin is absolutely necessary for the sugar in your blood to be metabolized or used. So what happens as far as your body is concerned is that sugar gets into the cells with the help of insulin. So an analogy would be that glucose is trying to get through that door but the door's locked and it just can't get in. And the key to opening that door to let the glucose go into the cells is the hormone insulin. Okay. In type 2 diabetes or adult onset diabetes the door is partially closed, so some of the glucose can get in, but it backs up and it becomes higher. So the way to get that door open isn't necessarily using insulin, but many people react to weight loss, a proper diet, or an exercise program. And that increases the door's ability to open so that the glucose can get in. So two different mechanisms for type 1 diabetes, which is an absolute lack of insulin or the locked door, and type 2 diabetes, which is a relative lack of insulin, so the door is only partially closed. All right, well, I think that brings us quite nicely to our first video, which I guess will be on type 1 diabetes. So we can stay tuned for the first video.